All right, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to new Pokemon Snap. There's only two more levels in the game, and then we do all of the requests. If you guys have been playing along with me, congratulations. You have the patience of a saint. Bravo. Round of applause to all of you. Anyway, thanks for coming. I missed you guys. I missed playing Pokemon Snap, but sometimes you need to take a little bit of a break of a game before you get 100% burnt out. So speaking of 100%, let's knock this out today. We're going to be doing Fireflow Volcano. There's a good handful of these little quests. I don't really know which one of these are going to be very hard, which ones are going to be very easy. I hope that it's going to go very swimmingly, but it might not. We might get derailed, but that's okay. We've got some notes thanks to our uh, friend Taylor. Hello, thank you. Shout out to Chapter Team and the mods that are on board today. Good to see you. Hey, what's up, Steve Anderson Jacobs? Welcome, welcome. So glad to have you. Um, Estelle, good to see you. What's up, T-Man, Bex, Joseph, Kelly, B, Martin, Cinderace, Rum, Runner, Charmaine. Who else is here? Uh, we got T-Man, Aaron, Kelly. What's up, Haley? What's up, Charmaine? Hello, Ashley. What's going on? What's new and exciting? What's up, Katie? Good to see you. Tigresso101, Taylor Ray, Charlie, uh, Ayo Mayo, Jesse's in the house, Blue Yoshi, Angela, Frostad. Good to see you. How have you been? Uh, Zoe's here. Yo everyone thanks for coming early all right let's do this let's get to work we got some work today so let's get some peanut butter jelly sandwiches you guys get the peanut butter i'll bring the bread and the utensils and someone who's gonna bring plates none of those like paper plates no we don't need that trash no man we gotta save the environment man give me give me some good porcelain white plates no red plates oh eating on a red plate oh i wouldn't i wouldn't dare eat on a red plate oh, are you crazy <laughs> anyway let's do some work um let's do it let's do it okay so here we are uh we're jumping into the volcano let's take a look at our requests uh actually let's go back to the main screen and we should be all set so yeah i'm ready for some new pokemon snap how many guys have been enjoying the side series that i uploaded this weekend i put four episodes out of a little side series of yokai watch which is really fun it's uh, a little bit different than uh than pokemon but super super fun anyway let's do this so here I am. We're going to do uh, the Singing Dragon. Okay, so I've already done Singing Dragon over here, but we're going to go through the motions just so that you guys know what's going on with it. Um, Shoutouts to Joseph. Hey, yo, jo hold on, hold on. Joseph coming on board. Hold the phone. As like super fan tier, yo, we're going to be adding super fans to our Metopia playlist. So I hope that you're ready for this, Joseph. That's huge. Thank you. Big hype. Welcome, Joseph. That's awesome. Anyway, so if you guys ever want to upgrade, feel free. I haven't done any announcement. This is like all in the DL right now. So awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Hashtag Joseph in the comments. Let's go, Brosif. Let's do it. All right. Moving on. Singing Dragon. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Level two. Don't boost. As you start going down the tunnel, play music and keep playing the whole time. Turn on, look up towards the top of the rocks while still playing music. A group of Altaria will come to the left, left side. Uh, this does take a while, but it will happen just playing music. So we need the Singing Dragon of Altaria. Altaria Community Day, let's go. Okay, uh, let's jump in. Let's attempt to recreate this. Uh, apparently it's uh, in level two. Maybe it's level three. I don't know, can't confirm or deny, but we're just gonna go into level two. Okay, so we're gonna be playing music uh, and then turning around and looking up at the rocks. Uh, I don't honestly need I don't need a uh, single shot, so yeah, we're here. Okay, so anyway. Look at, look at these beautiful Altair. Wow, wow, he just got wrecked by that thing. What hell? Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't actually know what happened there, but all right, deal. Okay, so as we're going to go down here, I'm turning around and watching some Altaria. I don't honestly know what picture I'm going for here. Am I, am I, um, yeah, I don't know. Monferno, how far down do I have to go? And how did I get this picture when I first played through the volcano? I got this on my first run. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any Altaria. This is weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! Ha 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 That's awesome. 
All right, yeah, there's Ho-Oh. That's, uh, that's exactly the Pokemon that we wanted to find. That was really interesting. One of the three spawn points, apparently. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I did to do this. So... <laughs> Oh, this seems really weird. I think it's, um, I think it, oof, it's this thing. Carry on a little bit longer until we go into the tunnel. I don't know. There's got to be some sort of trigger. It sounds super anecdotal. Just like keep on playing music and then they fly. Maybe. Could be. Maybe this one. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Yeah. He's grooming. It's cute. Oh, a little bird. Look at those three dweebs. And I don't have to orb anyone? Oh, I don't know, man. All right, let's keep on looking. I'll keep on looking behind me. How many guys uh, participated in the Pokemon Go Community Day that happened a couple days ago? Hands up in the comments. How many golden Swablu did you guys get? Did you evolve them all into Altaria? It was pretty fun. I got like a good handful, like maybe 14, maybe 14 shinies, 15. Uh, yeah, some ranked ones for PvP. I mean, Altair is really only good for Great League, which is kind of unfortunate, so... Interesting. Ten Shinies. Wow, that's really good. Ooh, look it, look it. Yay. Yay. Do, 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 do. I'm, like, two seconds away from getting rid of this quest and just, like, taking the quest and saying, okay, this is what you have to do. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I'm looking up in the air towards Come on peanut butter and jelly What are we doing here? Hello Any Altaria home? At what point have I known I've gotten I've gone too far? That explains Aerodactyl. It doesn't really. <laughs> this is just not a fun one. Like I want a fun one. Can you can Pokemon Snap give me a fun one? This is too far. All right, I didn't do anything differently, so we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna take a look at the picture that I took, and then we're gonna see if we can replicate it. Because I, I completed this in the run, in my like first run of the game, like how? And I can't do it right now, how does that work? Oh man, it's kinda of lame. Um, like I just feel sorry for those of you guys that are trying to play along with. You're like, okay, well what do I have to do, Abdallah? Yeah, you play music during the entire time, that's not it. So there's obviously a piece of this peanut butter and jelly sandwich that we are missing. So, what's the deal? All right, let's do it. Just sing like a bird and the Alteria will flock to you. Oh, interesting concept. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, going to yourself for the guide. Yeah, dude, I don't have a guide. You may have to go back to the Voluka episode, which is like episode like three or four or something like that. Find the timestamp of when I took pictures of Alteria and turn them in, and then it said request complete on top. Okay, so that's next level helping out the stream. Oof. All right, let's figure this out, man. This is Baluka, dude. This is the second to last one, and we're starting on a little bit of a snafu. This is not good. This is not a good way to start the stream. What is that? What is that? I heard happy humming sound around this area. What Pokemon do you think? Oh, it's the singing dragon. What Pokemon do you think is making them? Oh, it was Altaria. Thanks for finding out for me. I'm sorry. How did I get that picture? <laughs> what did I do to replicate that? It had to have been in level two, maybe level three, I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna attempt to find out for a couple more times. Okay, so maybe it was the crystal bloom in that one spot on level two. It could be. I mean, look, I'm already on level three. Maybe I did it on level one. I don't know. I don't know. Tigressa, I'll take any kind of um, hints. I'll take any kind of hints that you guys have for this. Like, what did you specifically do? Because we're missing something. Because if I'm out here constantly playing the music, Orbin? Maybe Orbing both of these clowns? 
Oh, look, 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 look. So this one did not get messed up. Maybe that's it. That one did not get messed up by the um, by the Talon Flame that came over that way. So maybe that's the maybe that was the trigger, and that I missed it or something. I don't know. Honestly, the Talon Flame somehow messed up the Altaria. But I don't remember. I can't recognize where I took that picture. I would literally have to figure that out. Did I take the picture over here? Did I take the picture over there? It was like between... Maybe maybe it was a crystal bloom. I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe it was like flying over here in between this. Okay, that's Ho-Oh again. Come on, man. We don't need Ho-Oh today. Really? Dude. This is not cool. Not cool, not cool at all. Okay, so there goes that uh, theory of mine. Just not happening. Okay. Anyone want to take a stab at this? Anyone want to take a stab at this? Because I'm not figuring this out. The only way that someone would be able to accurately get this is if you took a look at my video when we did the the volcano because right now i'm not seeing anything dude okay so what that one got owned having the music play at all times though it sounds it sounds anecdotal man Maybe I needed to snap a picture of those two flying Altaria to trigger something? Because sometimes the Pokemon get triggered when you snap their photos. I haven't snapped a single picture. Maybe that's it. What's up, Estel? How are you? It's always a pleasure seeing you in chat. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. All right, good, good, thank you. Thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed the other series that I put out. Uh, I got another episode coming out later on today. There we go. That's it, I, phew, dude, I don't know honestly what I did. I could not, I could not tell you. Wow, look at these babies, perfect time, Estel, excellent. Yeah, I, I could not tell you. Could it have been non-stop pressing the R button and making sure that like every time the music stopped and played it again, could that have been it? I don't know, man. Honestly, I, 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 I can't tell you because I could have sworn I was doing that like the first two runs, but whatever. It's cool. It's cool, it's cool, man. Yay! All right, look at that. A little, a slightly better picture. <laughs> and Kara just found the timestamp. Yo, Kara's like the best at that. It's like you put her on it, boom, she will find it. Again, I I don't necessarily have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich specifically for that, other than play music and maybe it'll do it. Weird, right? Weird. I don't know about that. Doesn't make me feel well. All right, so next one. Let's do this one. Something about a Shinx. Ooh, okay, now this one's gonna be exciting. Like, these are the ones that I want to, like, find out. Like, the little interactions that we don't normally get in a normal playthrough. This is what I want to see. I don't want to see, like, oh, let's take a picture of birds that are flying in the air. Like, that's boring. Here we go, little lost Shinx. Poor Shinx got startled and hid. Uh, I'd really like to lead it back to Luxray somehow. Oh, look at this little baby. All right, so level three. As you come in, you see the Shinx next to the water, but a bird will come and scare him. Um... And make him run in, run away to the wall. Now you need to throw an apple towards him, and then a trail of apples around to Luxray. Uh, super simple. Take a picture of Shinx and Luxray reuniting. Interesting. I'll give it a shot. So this is kind of like leading. This is cute. I think this one's great. I think the Altaria one. I don't know. It's like you take a look at all these quests, right? There's like 215 of them, 213 of them, right? They're not all gonna be fun. 
But the ones that are good, do they necessarily make up for the ones that are bad? I don't know. You guys let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's find this baby Shinx, shall we? Okay, so it's a focus on Shinx. I need to... Oh, that's the Luxray over here. All right, so baby's going to come over here. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Now you're going to be very sad. Oh, don't look at me. Here we go. Perfect, perfect. Keep going. Keep going. Is this the mama? That's the daddy. You coming? Go to your dad, dude. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so he found daddy, and daddy's like, eh, I left you over there for a reason, you little baby. <laughs> All right, see ya. All right, I hope that's it. I did a little wide angle, and I focused my shots on Shanks being happy next to daddy baby. So we should be, we should be all right. We should be all right. Let's take a look. Um, ooh, it is a, this is a four-star photo of the lost Shanks. I mean, I'll let, I'll let the professor choose this one. It's the four-star, should be all right. We've got the dad in the shot, and we've got the baby, and we're all set. Hey, there we go. It's a four star. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yes. Okay, you know what? We had a little bit of a sidetrack, and now we're in. Ooh, someone's mowing the lawn outside. I got this nice breeze happening over here, but like, I'm pretty sure you can pick up the sound of that. Lentil scientist. You completed uh, the photo state of a hundred species by registering a photo. Oh, a hundred of them from one star to four star. That's cool. That's like halfway there. Pretty sweet. Excellent. All right, the stream is coming back, man. We are we are getting it. That was good. That was a very good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So simple. We had everything laid out. It was flawless. Good work, dude. What's up with that lawnmower, man? I mean, it is the season, right? You gotta be cutting that grass. But I like the air. I like the airflow. It feels really good. Anyway, uh, Shinx and Lux Luxray are reunited, and it's all thanks to you. You're the best. Thanks, thanks, little one. Luxray vision. When Luxray is looking for something, it uses special ability to see through objects. Excuse me? You can tell it's happening when Luxray's eyes light up? Wait a second. Okay, am I gonna feed it? I take it, I'm gonna feed this thing, and then it's gonna like open up its eyes and do something cool. I mean, I guess if you think about its name, right? Lux Ray is kind of like an X ray. Interesting. Where's our resident X ray tech? Yo, where are you at, Ashley? Can you can you verify that this is exactly how you do like uh, X rays in real life? Okay. Oh, interesting. Going, uh, keep going through and look at the walls on the right. There is a cliff with a luxury sitting on it. When you're ready, throw an orb at it, and its eyes will change. That's it, just an orb. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to find a luxury, and I'm gonna orb it. And once I orb it, I'm taking a picture. I presume. Is there a specific one that I gotta do? Uh, you are not into this today, huh? Definitely not the dad. Alright, if the dad's not it. Oh, look at this mom. Is this the mom? Mom gonna do it? Oh, that's another dad. Dang it. Hmm, let's take a look. We. Okay, okay. So there's gotta be another Luxray coming up over here, yeah? Or are there only two Luxrays in the level? Monferno. Cool. Grolin Gravelers. Aerodactyl. Hmm. Crystal Bloom. Charmander. Uh oh. Luxray, Luxray, Luxray. I'm going in. We haven't really explored this level too well. I uh, hope you. Try to run a scan. No thanks. What's this? Do I know this pathway? Whoa! Flying. Oh, okay, there's a Shinx. Yeah, I don't know which pathway I'm going for. Out of the way, baby. It's in the volcano. All right, all right. Whereabouts? Ooh, I hope I didn't miss it by taking that alternate path. Let's see. Okay, there's not a Luxor. There's a Flareon. 
Okay, so it's on the non-alternate route. Okay, so normal route. Let's go that way. Let's do it. <clears throat> Next. Woo, wow, Talon Flame almost picked that up. Wow. All right, see you later. Lux Ray. Look at this thing. Cool. Aerodactyl. Man. Pokemon was so cool. Old Amber. You guys remember Old Amber? <laughs> yeah, that's your neighbor, right? That's your neighbor, Old Amber. <laughs> uh, don't tell her I called her that. All right, hey. Get this thing over here. Look at this flying bird. Nasty. Oh, you. Whoa, you think that's it? You think that's it? Oh, oh here we go, here we go. Wow, oh. Oh, you didn't like that, huh? Dang. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely didn't like that. Ah, uh, Joseph, yes. So glad to be here because now you're a super fan. Now you can say you love the content. Uh, you can always say that, man. You can always say that you love the content, man. Everyone says that, but you, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I am so glad that there's only like two episodes of this game left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. Check this out. Oh, look at the eyes. Wow, that's actually cool. All right, this is a four star right here. Boom, in the middle. Four star photo. I'm taking that one with the green neon glow. Mika-chan, really enjoy watching your streams. It helps me through the day. Stay blessed. Hey, you too. Thank you for the super chat. Mika, I hope all is well. A uh, happy Monday to you. I hope this stream helps you get through your Monday, right? Hey, that was cool. Okay, so we got the foot. I think it said quest complete on the side, I presume. I mean, we got him with his eyes lit up. That was fun. Yeah, that was a little super chat train. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. All right. In x-ray school, we learned to make our eyes glow to take the images. The machines are a guy's. Whoa, no way. You know, um... I got an x-ray like a couple months ago and then I was expecting to have like a lead vest they're like nah dude we don't do lead vests and I'm like what dude what happened what did you change they're like yeah you should not have a lead vest when you're taking an x-ray like at all right was and then he explained that like the lead vest like traps in the x-rays and it just bounces and shreds your entire system if it gets inside there like what <laughs> no what are you talking about, dude? I don't know anything about that. Now I'm 100% radioactive. That's why my skin is so glowing half the time. It's weird. Uh, that's it. Uh, was it looking for the lost Shanks when you took this photo? What a nice Pokemon. Thanks, Todd. All right, we really don't have that many left. Nine plus another five, so that's not bad. All right, let's do some work. Ooh. Yeah, meanwhile, your kid had an x-ray today with a lead vest. Oh, no. <laughs> Yow. Oh, man. I don't think I even have a lap shield either. Nothing. Nothing. A lap shield, you'd think? Man, yikes. Anyway, Talonflame looks so cool, but it snatches up uh, when it snatches up a fluff fruit. But I can't get the timing of the photo. Uh-huh. So we're going to get a skilled hunter. I don't know. All I know is that I was taken aback when I'm like, dude, am I supposed to have a lead vest for this? And they're like, nah. I'm like, okay. Sure, dude. All right, next. Ooh, you tried on level two? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm on level three right now. I'm just going to attempt to find out where the specific Talonflame is. Um, go down to the tunnel. Uh, Talonflame is perch on the cliff. I remember seeing this one. This is factual. Throw apples into the middle and just keep throwing them until it comes down and swoops one. It happens really fast. All right, here we go. He probably lost his vest. <laughs> okay, anyway. So you're telling me that this little dude is going to come down and swoop on level two. Guaranteed, yeah? Okay. Is he is he going to turn around and, and, uh, and get them? Or he's just like, I'm done with this. Wrong level, kid. Yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, let me quit out and do another level. Hmm. <laughs> you never take x-rays. Well, good. <laughs> Congratulations, Cassie. I'm glad you never take x-rays. It's, it's not a thing that you do a pass. It's not a hobby. <laughs> Taking it. Unless it's your job. Unless it's your job. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, let me go back to camp. We're going to try level two. I also need to find out where exactly... I have to throw these apples so that it picks them up. Super Smash vibes? Yeah, I this is actually a new controller that I bought at like the launch of when these came out. I just never got a chance to unbox it and use it. So I always use my like regular black controller. And I saw it, I'm like, okay, cool, let's open it up. All right, so confirm level two only. Cool, excellent, excellent. Let's go to level two. Do I have a favorite land? Bust a move R in new Pokemon Snap. Do I have a favorite land? Oh. You know, I think the water. Ooh. You know, the deep, um, the, the Maricopia Beach, or the Maricopia Reef, and the Maricopia Underground, Underwater, was probably my favorite. I love the Blastoise. I loved getting scared at deep sea nonsense, like legit scared on stream the first time that I did it. Dude, I love that. That was actually very entertaining. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. This one. You're telling me this one on the perch is gonna swoop down and get this apple. You're telling me. This one that is not. Oh, sh what the heck was that? <laughs> You're telling me. How was it? That that one was. <laughs> oh, You're telling me. Wow. Good luck. Good actual luck. That was so funny. I'm out here, like, not believing that this is going to happen, and milliseconds later. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even get a zoom in on that one. Imagine if you're going for the four-star crystal on that one. That would be spectacular. Just keep on throwing, and then you're, like, zoomed in, and then you go, you get the six shots, and then you win. You win life. You win life. That was so cool. What's up, Victoria? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hello. Look at that one. Oh, it's it's got his great seal of approval. Wow, it's got the professor's wink on it. Dang, yo, he's winking at me, this guy. You mean to tell me. I love it. I love getting surprised like that. All right, let's do some work. <laughs> We skilled hunter got it. Flying down, baby. God, you got it. Wow, and it's such a clear shot too. Oh, yo, I got a mouth number four. Nice. What is that? Can you imagine if those are like just top teeth only? How long your top teeth would have to be? Weird. Never think about those things. Oh wow, and it's uh, such a clear, uh, clear shot. How did you do it? All right, a goofy pose. Tarantrum got really mad when Monferno stuck its rear out at it. Excuse me, but I thought it was all in good fun. I'd like to get a closer shot of it, actually. Oh, I thought that was Professor Mirror that wanted the back shot. Because <laughs> he, he likes what he likes. Uh, but yeah, let's go find a Monferno's rear. Let's take a picture of a Monferno's rear. Has to be on level one, apparently. Go down the tunnel on the right, there will be a monkey on a cliff. <laughs> Hit him with an orb. He'll turn around and scratch his you-know-what. That's the shot. That's it. I gotta orb a monkey and take a picture of his baboon behind. Is this what you're telling me right now? I gotta take a picture of a monkey's bottom? What has this game turned out to, man? First thing Jinx is blowing me kisses. 
<laughs> take a picture of her, and now I gotta take a picture of a monkey's butt. Where, where did you go? Where did you go? Where is he? Oh, look at you. You. Go ahead. Let me see it. Let me see it. Show me. Show me. Are you the one? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you have to take a picture of him scratching his butt. You're kidding me. His hindquarters. So definitely don't need to orbit. Okay, cool. I'll take your word for it. But you don't like the little green aura, right? Is that extra points? Little green aura, the scratchy scratch. Look at him. Look at him scratching that. Yo, he's going to town. There we go. You got to get it worth. <laughs> Not gonna say it. All right. Not gonna say it. I'm I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. What has new Pokemon Snap come to where we're now doing requests for Rita? She's got an obsession and she wanted to see a monkey's butt. Cool. Good job, Rita. It's like, oh, sweet. I'll be taking that photo. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. This is actually a little funny. It's just a little funny. Just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Right? Wow. Rita and Professor Mirror, man. These two. I do not have a four star ho oh no, I haven't messed around with this level. No, not really. It's towards the end of the uh it's towards the end of the game, so we might get it today. So... Alright, alright. Rita, I got your picture. You monkey. A goofy pose. <laughs> oh great, thank you. It really is pretty silly, isn't it? Aerodactyl can't walk very well, so it won't land at all if it's feeling cautious. It probably only eats fluff fruit when it's on the ground, though. Says Todd. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna go over to uh, Rest Your Wings, level 3. And this should allow us to get it. That was really good. Rest your wings. Here we go. Take the alternate route. Go to the end of the level. Scare away Typhlosion by hitting with Apple. Scare away the second one too. Throwing apples on the ground before Aerodactyl lands. Keep throwing apples as it comes down. Just don't hit him with one. And when it lands, it'll eat the apple and you take a photo of it. Cool. Easy. Seems very simple. The only thing that would necessarily be hard with this one is... Um, is... Possibly missing the Typhlosion. But we should be okay. We're zooming through here. Yo, look at Monkey Boy. Look at Monkey Peaches over here. Look at this guy. Oh, who's going to win in this fight? I'm going to do something. Power up. Dude, use Flamethrower. There we go. It's super effective on a rock type. Nice try. Nice try, kid. A for effort there, buddy. What? All right. I don't know if going alternate route matters, but let's just uh, keep going. Little baby in the way. Hi. Hey, cutie. See ya. Victoria, hello. Managed to catch a live stream. You had a, a bad day and your streams always stream me up. Hey, I'm so glad. Well, I hope your day gets better. Sorry that you had a bad day. It will all be good. It'll get better. Just sit over here and watch me rage about different requests and new Pokemon Snap. It's entertaining, I've heard. All right, all right. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Who's this? Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. That was cool. All right, one does not simply walk away from a Flareon. Okay, here we go, here we go. So now the Typhlosion have to get scared away. And look, there's two babies here. Oh, and they're eating. Oh no, that's his tail. All right, cool. He's eating his tail. All right, Typhlosion, Typhlosion, you. Okay, nailed him. And his buddy's coming over here. Yeah, take one too, guy. Oh, dude, I got him so early. Yes, yes, yes. Where, 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 where? Here, here's Aerodactyl. Okay, so eat some sort of... Apple Dactyl. Eat something. Oh! Eat, 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 eat. Yes, yes, yes. Don't despawn, don't despawn, don't despawn. Dude, eat one. Come on, guy! <gasps> Turn around and eat it. Turn around and eat it, guy. Yes, yes. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Yeah, he's so happy. Voltorb eyes over here. Yes. Here, have one of these. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. I was about to throw one. The professor's beaming me up. Oh, man. The 
Professor. So what if I used all my shots? Give me a larger SD card, kid. Ooh, that was awesome. What's up, Johanna? Thanks for coming. All right, wonderful, wonderful. We're doing great. This is awesome. All right, I'm taking the Flareon. Aerodactyl eating an apple. Four star shot. I own, oh, I have a couple of them. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, it's like in mid air. But this one is pretty centered, so we'll, we'll trust the professor on this one. Get ready, get ready. Alternate route takes you to a different ending. Interesting, I did not know that, Taylor. Cool. Look at flying Flareon. Not good enough. Aerodactyl eating an apple. Four star crystal shot, baby. Four toddy. Yes. There we go. That's an easy max out for the volcano. Volcano was pretty easy to max out. I honestly didn't try. I didn't play the level more than I did in like the Let's Play episode. So, cool. All right. Thank you, Professor. That was good. Yeah. All right, next up, a quaking volcano is next. I hope that there's going to be some quests that involve going through the level and finding Ho-Oh, because that was one of the things that I was just like, everyone and their moms was saying that it was RNG-based, and I'm like, dude, it's not RNG, there's programming. And it was just too early for people to understand how the game works, so they just assume it's RNG, right? Like, that's always a thing. Nah, man, it's not RNG. All right, here we go, rest your wings. Okay. Yay, sweet. Hey, look at that. You caught quite a rare moment on camera. Good job. Here's some sparkles. All right, quaking volcano. I heard a really loud noise near Tarantrum. Then all this rubble started falling down around me. What happened back there? Oh my gosh, this is this sounds exciting. Wow. This is better than taking a picture of flying Altaria. <laughs> all right, let's do it. What do we got here? In the volcano, level three. Uh, throw an orb at the two monkeys. Ooh, Monfernos are over here, and I got an orb them, you're telling me. All right, all right. Try to hit them uh, early to get a good photo. One monkey will jump uh, on the tarantrum and wake him up, then he'll roar and run over and slam his head into the wall. His uh, slamming his head is what you need a picture of. What just happened? Why is there a typhlosion up here? What level am I on? Do I remember this? Okay, cool. All right, I gotta orb the two monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, how do I, oh, you! Oh, slow cursor movement, man, I need a faster cursor. All right, all right, I gotta find out where these monkeys are. One, one. Oh, he's doing a karate pose, there we go. Firefighting, baby, your favorite typing. Two monkeys, backflip. Okay, so now what? Now what? Okay, yep, yep. Do some work. Do some work. Where's Tarantrum? Where's Tarantrum? Okay. Oh, oh I don't see the monkeys jumping on him. Uh, did I orb them too late? What's happening? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this a sleeping Tarantrum, or is there a different Tarantrum? Okay. Cool. Uh-huh. 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 Yep, yep. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. Cool. Awesome. Yep. Maybe I was... Oh, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's these two dweebs over here. In the cave was the missing piece that I was... Oh, look at these clowns. Boing! Oh my gosh, look at these punks. What are you doing? Go. Go ahead. Rah! Oh, HD rumble. Okay, here we go. Wow, he missed. So he tried to use head smash on them, but they dodged out of the way, luckily. Dude, and he is upset. Oh my gosh, where's he going? Oh, he's gonna go after those dweebs. All right, that was very rude. Did you see those monkeys jump on the kid? No way, man. Dweebs. <laughs> what does that even mean? Did I just make up a word now? A dweeb? That's terrible. It's like calling someone a weeb. That's not, that's not a term that's acceptable to call anyone. All right, anyway, so here we go. Um, yeah, it's a four-star shot of him f slamming his head into the wall. Dunk. All right, I'm just going to go with um, this one. Yeah, sure. Done. <laughs> Dweeb is an old people's word? Well, we're bringing it back today. <laughs> 
All right, was that request complete? Yes, it was. Four star, uh, four star gold. Not bad. Wow. <laughs> Dweeb. <laughs> that, yeah, that's totally something in the '90s that you would hear, like when you were like, um, when you would describe like a nerd, like a stereotypical nerd, pocket protector, overalls, glasses. That. Is it? That is a dweeb, right? Am I getting that correctly? Anyway, let's no more, no more dweeb talk. Thanks. I had to define that. And doofus? Oh my god, doofus! <laughs> I don't think I've ever used the word doofus. That's funny though. All right. Anyway, here we go. Oh, whoa! So Tarantum got mad and smashed into the wall. Oh wow! Quaking volcano. We got a sticker, and that sent the whole volcano rumbling. Wow! All right, when Graveler shows its hand. Graveler has four arms, but I haven't seen it use the inner set much at all. When do you suppose it uses those arms? Um, most likely when it's picking up a fluff fruit. That's what I'm presuming we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to feed him. Uh, let's see, level one only. Mmm, whoa, I like the... No, I actually, I, I very much dislike level one only quests because you have to dive through certain hoops in order to figure that out. When you get into the cave with a sleeping tarantulum, you're going to knock all the gravelers off the walls. There are three. You need to look down for two of them. Going into the next cave, but don't boost. The graveler uh, in there is slow, so you need the time. He'll go into the island with the lava with the slugma on it, and they leave at some point. Now throw apples at the graveler. He'll eat one of the apples with his bottom hands. Keep feeding him until he eats with his bottom hands. Okay. This is pretty in-depth. If you're doing this blind, and you're in level three, trying to figure this out, for like hours and hours and hours on end, I feel very bad. The level one requests are, mm, man. That's rough stuff, dude. That's rough stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the area with the sleeping Tarantrum, finding the Graveler and knocking him down, just like in the original Pokemon Snap. There were Graveler on the wall, and you had to hit them with a uh, Pester Ball or something. Apples weren't very effective. Here we go. Okay, Gravelers, Graveler, 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 Graveler here. Sleeping Tarantrum. I don't see anything yet. Oh, what the heck? One, two, three. What? That apple went into the wall. That's cheap. Dude, I nailed him. You see this? Dude, I got robbed. I got robbed. That one does not. Lumina Orb? What? Yo, he's hanging on. Yo, that man is hanging the heck on. Okay, so tell me why. Oh, this one. See ya, right? This one. Goodbye. We dip him all the way into lava and we just ended his life. Huh. <laughs> all right, Slugma. Slugma what? Slugma what? Oh, yo, he just... Okay, 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 okay. Now, wow, uh, I love, I love the fire effects. It looks just really amazing. Gonna peek over here. All right, so there's some area where a gravelers are gonna be. Maybe. Here, let me help you. I don't. I don't know if I did this correctly. Hey, buddy. Okay. Hi. Whoa. Lava. Oh, hold on. I think I see a graveler. That's a graveler. There's a female graveler over there. Okay, cool. Look at these slugma. Oh, that one is just dipping. Oh, look how happy he is. Oh, he's so happy. Weird. Okay, I had to take a picture of that. All right, so now... Um, you? Are you the one? Are you the one? Wake up! Dude. No way. Get up and eat. Full Torbize. 
I've ever seen a Charmander get out of here, dude. I don't know if this is the one, to be honest. There's Charmanders. Eat, eat, eat. Turn around and eat, please. It's right there, guy. Oh, okay, cool. I don't think I knocked all the Graveler down because that one does not seem like the one that wants to eat. So, adios. Cool. Yeah. Um, interesting. So I missed something. I missed something. What did I miss? I guess I'm going to turn in this happy picture of Slugma. All right, here we go. Tigressa. Knock out the Graveler to your right. Knock uh, the one over the Luxray. Hit the one near the exit of the cave. Graveler should appear where the three Slugmas were. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Get up and eat. Is your dream for someone to yell at me first thing in the morning? <laughs> that's hilarious. Sometimes they're just hungry. You gotta get up and eat. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna find this Graveler. We're gonna find him. Those two at the start can eat as well? Wait a second, you're telling me that the Graveler at the very beginning can just randomly eat and we don't have to go all the way to the Slugma area? You're telling me. You're telling me this. I don't believe it. What is my life right now? Ah, yummy. Here we go. Graveler. Yeah. Here we go. Be careful out there. Alright, here we go. You're telling me that these Graveler at the beginning can get fed. Alright. That monkey just... Oh, there you are. Cool monkey. Wow. It has to eat with its lower arms. You're telling me that it eats with its upper arms too? What? That's one. Oh, nailed him. Two. Three. Okay, so I nailed three of them down. You're telling me these boys get fed. Oh, sorry guy, sorry, I'm so sorry. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Eat, 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 eat. Come on, now you're clipping into each other. No! Come on, Voltorb eyes. Dude, Voltorb eyes, though, man. Okay, so I hit three. One on the right, two on the left. Oh, and then there's dude hanging over here, and then I just annihilate him. Boing, see ya! I don't know how loud that is. That's pretty loud. I think I'm going to close the door for a second. After this picture. Ignore it. Okay, there's a Graveler. Okay, 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 okay. Look it, look it, look it, look it. Is he just going to go in there? He just walks over there. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes, eating with his bottom hand. Nice. Yeah, Graveler, dude. Voltorb eyes if I've ever seen them. Voltorb eyes if I've ever seen them. Boom. Okay. Get ready. Voltorb eyes. Sounds like a distant vacuum. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're just like doing some maintenance. It's Monday. All right, here we go. Voltorb eyes on ya. Let me see. It is a four-star photo of him eating. Look at that. Yeah. What's that one? Two-star? I like it when his eyes are open. There we go. Look at him eating. All right, this is cool. Whatever. That's good. Hmm. <clears throat> eating with his bottom hands. Four-star crystal. Good job, man. Got it. That was fun. I mean, it was cool that, like, there was a specific trigger. I kind of like that. Some of them with specific triggers are okay. 
Uh, other ones are just, I don't know, man. If there's too many steps to the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's just like, throw it out the window, man. We don't need that. Like, come on. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on. Archaeops at ease. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Graveler shows his hand. Done. Yes. Look at that. Look how cute he is. So, uh, I see. So it uses those arms to eat. Whoa. You got uh, you got a sticker. What part of Graveler is that? In the comments, you guys can let me know. <sighs> Weird. All right, moving on. Archaeops is a very cautious Pokemon, but I think it might eat a fluff root if it feels safe and secure. Okay. His mole, his body... Could be. Uh, let's try level two. Okay, go down the tunnel until, until you see one Archaeops not spazzing out like the other ones. <laughs> not spazzing out. His belly button. So you you mean to tell me that Graveler has an Audi that's the size of like a baseball? And we just picked it up, and we were given a rock. Here you go, a Graveler Audi. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Uh, the one not spazzing out, this sounds hilarious. All right, which one is not spazzing out? Uh, that one doesn't seem to be spazzing out. Oh, God, that one's spazzing Oh, that is, okay, okay, that one. You can eat. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, not spazzing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, come on. Aw, oh, lame. You're facing the wrong way. Come face me, guy. Face me. Give me a good shot of you eating that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, that one's trying to get it. Here, come here. Dude, I got apples for everyone. You get an apple, not you, because you're going to be headbutting until someone eats it. This is nasty. <gasps> Come on, do it again, do it again. This way. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on. All right, all right, now give me a good one. Do it again. Or not. Here. Ah. Dunk. <laughs> Here's a parting gift. <laughs> Here's a party. Yeah. My character's just like, Ugh! And just chucked it all the way across and doinked them on the head, and then called them a dweeb and exited out. Man, <laughs> what a the disrespect! All right, here we go. Look at, oh man, if that's not a crystal shot, dude, I don't know what is, man. You got full on chicken wings, apple in the mouth. It's like a roast for Thanksgiving over here, man. Here's a parting gift. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur Pokemon are pretty cool, man. Like, a lot of kids love dinosaurs. I'm learning that. How is that? Okay, dude, I'm done. I'm actually done. I quit. That, how is that not a crystal shot? The size was not... Okay, okay. The direction? 361 in a direction? Get out of here. I'm done with you, Professor. Yeah, the Professor does look like Elmo. Get him out of here. It was perfectly centered. It's a nice shot. Man. Boo. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo-hoo. Who's Boo-hoo? You guys know Boo-hoo? <laughs> Some of you guys know Boo-hoo. Some of you guys that are new to the franchise know, know a little bit about Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. All right, let's do this. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Archaeops at ease. We're going to be climbing the lava fall now. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. That's oh, good. It did eat it. Thanks for checking for me. Climbing the. Wait a second. Rita claims she saw a slugma going up a lava fall. She's got to be making that up, right? Well, apparently not if it's a request. So, you mean to tell me lava is falling down and a slugma has the ability... It's like you're going upwards on a downwards escalator. You can't do that. That's illegal. Dude, you're going to fall. All right, where are we going? Let me try level one. 
There's no way. Boo-hoo. KF boo-hoo, man. Do you know about KF boo-hoo? All right, Slugma upside down on a, on a cliff in the center. Hit him with an apple. He'll fall into the lava and start going quickly towards a lava fall in the back left. Watch the lava. You need to be ready. Um, and hit him with an orb to make him climb the lava fall. However, he is fast. <laughs> him climbing is the shot. <laughs> I love these notes. They're so good. <laughs> a dramatic reading of Taylor's notes. However, he is fast. Uh, you're telling me a slug is fast. All right. <laughs> Slugma break in physics? Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'll believe you. Here we go. I'll believe you. I'll believe it when I see it, man. One does not simply go up a downwards escalator. Because you have to plow through all the people that are just, like, casually going down it. Here. Enjoy. Okay, here we go, here we go. There's a slugma. I gotta do something. Uh, upside down in a cliff in the center. Upside down in a cliff in the center. Upside down in a cliff in the center. This clown? That's either him, or I'm looking, scanning the area. Do not see another. Okay, so it's gotta be this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom! All right, all right, got him, got him, nailed him. Okay, so now where is he, where is he? There you are, hi. Go, 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 however, he is fast. Where, 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 whoa, whoa, however, he is fast, oh my gosh. Dude, however, how do they do that? That's physically impossible. That was physically impossible. However, that was cool though. <laughs> that was really cool, man. Uh, Ciara, thanks for coming. Thanks for enjoying the content. How was it? Get ready. Running up an escalator the wrong way. And then like if you're going up the escalator and you miss time one of your steps and then your shin gets shredded by the escalator like claws right Ooh, those escalators are sharp man all right look at them go look at them go whoa there's a pokemon in that shot but the professor likes this one for some reason so i mean wouldn't you want the archaeops photobomb or this one? Oh no apparently not looks like he has antlers here weird okay um i'll just go with the professor whatever he wants cool let's do it Four star crystal. Dang. Look at that photo. Just of him eating. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I like that one. He was pretty quick. Yeah, I never thought I'd see a slug move so fast before. But Blastoise, though? No way. Blastoise was like if you blew up a balloon, right? You guys remember the Blastoise one? If you blew up a balloon, and then. You just let it go, and it went out of here. That's exactly how Blastoise went. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, that was so crazy. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna be climbing the waterfall. Wee! So fun, peanut butter and jelly is easy on this one. Wow, it really is going up the lava. I better apologize to Rita. <laughs> Okay, I was taking photos of a Torkoal when it suddenly stu stood up on its hind legs. I was so surprised I forgot to take a picture of it. Okay, um, a Torkoal on its hind legs, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really, I don't know. Like, I really enjoy the requests that actually tell a story, right? Remember like the Machamp and the Sharpedo going on like a swimming competition? Like, that was amazing. That told a story. This is just like, ah, interact with it and it'll do something cute, right? Like, no, I don't like those. I don't know. What do you guys like? Like, we've done a lot of these quests, and maybe a very small percentage of them was were telling stories. Like, 
uh, like the Squirtle that got knocked down by the Wingle and fell into the Whirlpool, right? And then landed on Blastoise's back and flew out of there like a balloon. Like, that was so cool. Man. All right, where are we going? Uh, la uh, lava Fall area. You'll see a monkey and, and a sleeping Torkoal. Throw an orb at them and try to do this early because you're going to hit them twice. The second time, the Torkoal will stand up on its back legs. All right, easy. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, you're running up an escalator, dude. That's not a good idea. No way. Your, your legs are going to get shredded. Even if you're wearing pants, no way, man. They take a bite out of you. And they live to remember. Escalator casualties, man. Look it up on YouTube. All right, I guess I'm just going to go the regular way. Here's Tarantula. Out of the way, dude. Please leave. This guy with his eyes. Cool. Oh, who's this? All right, ready, ready. Lava fall. Okay, I'm looking for a monkey and a slug. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Torkoal. Oh gosh, am I in the right level? <gasps> Whoa, that slug might just. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a Graveler there. Oh, that Charizard. I remember I was so enamored at the Charizard. Here we go. I don't know what the monkey has to do with anything. That's a... Oh, that monkey? Oh, dude, monkey. He's trying to wake up the Torkoal. Stand up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> His eyes are still closed. Oh my goodness, Torkoal looks awesome. Do it again. You gonna do it again, sleepy boy? Um, hello? No? Here, eat that. Nothing. Impervious. Too many Pokemon in this game are impervious to the apples. I don't know about that. Like a, like a hidden barrier around them? Come on. That was great. Uh, I think we got the shot, for sure. Let's see what the professor wants. The professor wants this one. It's a nice through shot. Look at that, beautiful. I'll trust the professor on this one. So excited. I don't think it was excited. I think it was more like, yo, let me sleep. Get out of my face. Like, he pressed the snooze button a couple times. He just wants to sleep in. And my friend was like, no, dude, I wanna wake up and play. Like, no, man, put the snooze button. I got like two more minutes. Ugh. Do you guys do that at home? You hit the snooze button, even though like you're ready to wake up. You're just like, oh, just two more minutes. Like, what do you think 120 seconds is gonna do for you? Like, you're gonna feel better in 120 seconds more of sleeping? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, get ready. That's so funny. Two more minutes. You're like woken up enough to go on your phone and like click on the timer app do like two zero zero start and then press the power button and go back to bed you're you're awake enough to do that <laughs> dude yeah right you wish you can achieve REM sleep in two minutes no way man give me that yeah that's exactly what it looked like Torkoal is usually so relaxed wow Rita is so excited I never expected to see it get up like this Volcanic hide-and-seek. There are Charmander all over the place in the volcano. Do you think something might happen if you find a bunch of them? Uh, this is a throwback to the original Pokemon Snap, so I hope... I hope they turn around and yell and call their buddies, because that's what they did in the original game. Alright, here we go. Alright, alright. We're gonna go to level 3. Go to Lava Fall area and doing all the steps early, give you the most amount of time. Um, hit the Crystal Bloom, turn to the right, throw Apple to the Cliff thing to bring in some Charmander. There will be five of them, play the music, then turn the music off. Charmander is now getting the position with the tails up, playing music, and Charizard come over. <gasps> a small woman to get a shot before the route ends, just taking photos, I guess. Charizard eventually land in between the Charmander. Charizard landing is the shot. Charmander are the focus for the photo. Whoa, okay, this is gonna be exciting. 
Okay, okay. I'm excited for this one. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be hitting. Is this the crystal bloom to hit? But whatever, I'm gonna hit it. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna go the normal route. Here, ooh, sorry, chicken wings. <laughs> Move. I need to find the Charmander. This one. This one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm doing what? Throwing apples over a cliff to bring in some Charmander. What are you talking about? Wow, Slugma Wee. Alright, alright. Throwing apples over a cliff. Let's see. Okay, that's a Flareon. There's a Tarantrum. There's a Charizard. There's a Torkoal. There's a Flareon. Oh, the, okay. I guess I'm like throwing apples here now. I'm, I'm missing something here. I'm missing... We'll call it a dry run. Oh, what's up, dudes? Oh, six. That one ran away. Did I? Is it because I hit him in the head? Come on, boys. There's food for all. It's a buffet over here, little boy. Children. Come on, babies. Char -char there was like seven of them here. Where is a Charizard? Party time. Charizard? Charizard? Hmm. I have to be missing something. Maybe I didn't music fast enough? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Dude, I had a lot of Charmander there. Let's try again. Let's try again. I should have just clicked on reset. Yeah, you remember the little babies in Pokemon uh, Snap Original on N64? You're stopped at the Moltres egg, and then you just, like, you feed one of them, and then they yell. Jar! And then, like, two more come over the hill. <laughs> They yell. It was the cutest thing. Like, and again, this game just doesn't do. This game just doesn't do old Pokemon Snap justice at all. And those of you guys that haven't experienced the old Pokemon Snap, like, oof, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you haven't experienced it, and you have this game to satiate you. There was just something so charming about the first one that it's just not. It's just not replicated here. Every single Pokemon, if you hit them, oh, I don't know, maybe like 90% of Pokemon, if you hit them with an apple, they will react. Not have an invisible barrier around them. Nah, man. That Graveler hanging at the end stops you from moving like the egg? What? Hold on a second. What are you saying? What are you talking to me? What are we talking about here? That Graveler at the end. Why don't these guys move? Am I on a different level? It's, oh, gosh. That Graveler at the end. I gotta find out which one. This one! Turn around and eat. Here. Okay. Alright, so here we go. This Graveler? If we nail him, he'll be like a Moltres egg? You're telling me. He's like, no way, man. He says, namaste. This one. Nah. Alright, alright, here we go. Alright, I am... I am littering the place. 
with apples and songs. Probably assaulting them on the head. Sure. Charizard, where are you? Dude, what? They're all here. I literally have six, seven of them. What's the trigger? And don't say play music. What's the trigger? Crystal Bloom, that's the trigger I'm missing. Thank you. I don't remember seeing a Crystal Bloom in that area, so that's the trigger. It's not just playing music. I gotta, I gotta do that. <laughs> Spin around at the start again. <laughs> I remember when that actually worked that time. <laughs> that was bad, man. I was proving a point that it actually did it. I'm like, okay, we're not gonna do that anymore. Mm-hmm. Get it. Okay, so I need to find out where specifically is that Krista Bloom. Krista Bloom. Something about um, it's um, behind the gravel or you see in the far distance. I guess maybe I didn't really take a look around. So let's see. Flamethrower, Charmander. Cool. Goodbye, goodbye. All right, it's a graveler at the end. Hanging on the pillow. All right, here we go. Uh -huh. Crystal Bloom, Crystal Bloom, Crystal Slugma. Crystal Bloom, Crystal Bloom. Graveler. Okay, let's start feeding these boys. Oh, hit a Charmander's brother, Charizard. All right, here we go. So you're telling me there's a crystal bloom here? That's a graveler. I'll hit him. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. It does stop. Good job. Good job. Where's the crystal bloom though? Oh, on top, right? Ooh. This thing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. I hit the crystal bloom. Charizard. Uh, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Was that the correct Crystal Bloom, though? I don't know, man. Okay. I think I hit the Graveler too early. I'm gonna try to hit the Graveler a little bit later, just so he can stop me. And then... That's it, that's it. Okay, hit the Crystal Bloom as soon as you can. Yes. The crisp bloom is on top near the graveler on the very top like shelf. That's what you gotta do. I'm curious if it's hit the crystal bloom in general or if it's hit the, hit the crystal bloom when Charizard is flying near it. Whew. 
That'd be rough. Here we go. Crystal Bloom me right now. Watch this. Whoop. Um. I don't know honestly where that Crystal Bloom is. It's up here by the Graveler. Okay, so I have to like. Oh, there it is. Okay, Crystal Bloom is considered hit. Got it. I'm Appling. Come on in, boys. Here we go. Wow. Let me just watch, Professor. Let me just watch. Why is he summoning me? That was cool. Just take all the pictures. Uh, one star photo, yes. Oh, so good. Oh, I love that one. And this one over here, this has to be it. It's a three star photo of the Charmander. Mm -hmm. And it has Charizard in there, right? That's the one? Or should I just do this one? It's like a family picture. We're gonna do this one, because it has everyone in there. That was really cool. Okay, so yeah, that was exactly it. The Crystal Bloom was the key that I was missing there. Didn't really know it was there, but it's okay. So hitting the Crystal Bloom as soon as you can. Was the missing link. Hmm, hmm, little Charmander, request complete. Cute, yeah, I did like that. Yeah, I like that. It was really nice. I like putting the Graveler down because it kind of just stopped us. So that was cool. Yeah, it's, you know, that's honestly a throwback to the old Pokemon Snap. It really is. Hitting the Graveler down so that the Graveler's in the way to stop you is the exact same thing as the Moltres Egg from the old game. That was really cool. Good looking out, Stephanie. Good looking out. That was really nice. I enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was cool. It That kind of told a little bit of a story, right? They're all there playing uh, hide and seek. They all came out. I didn't realize there were this many Charmander. They look like they're all having so much fun together. Yay, okay, well, here we go, Red Hot Energy, whoa. The Illumina energy in this area is particularly strong. I suspect that even the slightest impact could cause an unusual reaction. Whoa, okay, the slightest impact. So am I throwing orbs and apples into there? Huh, into the very center. Okay, let's go. Uh, we're gonna go into level three. <laughs> Give each Charmander an orb. Look up and hit Graveler with an orb, then hit him with an apple. Quickly look down where the Graveler smashed Charizard will now burst out of the center. What? Wait, 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 what? What are you saying? What is happening here? What? <sighs> Charmander. Mm hmm. I guess I'm orbing the Charmander. Then there's a Graveler. I got an orb and apple a Graveler? Hmm, quickly look down there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, well, let's see what's going on here. I gotta do a lot of work. Bust out of the center. Here we go. Here we go, take the alternate route. Out of the way. All right, here we go, here we go. Orb and some Charmander, and then something happens. Two, 
two. It's two Charmander. Okay, then there's a Graveler somewhere? I can't see anything. What are you talking about, a Graveler? <gasps> Him! No! He's way up there, you Graveler! What are you talking about? about a gravel and my arm is weak lame <sighs> ah yo it's like animal crossing dude on on an island tour dude look up <laughs> an animal crossing island tour look up hmm? oh we did some pretty cool like landscape in here cool look up all right, here we go. We got it. We got it. I was like, I was looking upwards a little bit, but not all. Like, I didn't crane my neck all the way up, man. Like this right here. Oh, your neck's got to hurt after that. All right, let's go. Here we go. Move. <laughs> We're here. Time to look up. Boom. One. Boom. Two. Look up. Boom. Whoa, ho, oh, oh. What? Cool. Okay, so now what? What do they do? What What are you going to do? What What am I supposed to do? Hold on, hold on. Something. Oh, he's going to go. He's going to do something. Okay, I'm Orbin. I'm Orbin. I'm, or I'm Orbin. Go, go, go. What happened? I'm sorry. What? I clicked on retry, didn't I? Ah. Ah. Okay, make sure both Charmander are poised and wagging their tails. How do I make sure? <laughs> One does not simply make sure that they do that. <laughs> Uh, we'll mess around with it. Maybe the timing was a little off. Um, I don't know. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Make sure. I will just yell into the pro controller. Be poised and wag your tails. That's how I would make sure it happens in the game. <laughs> what? What does not simply do that? Alright, moving on, moving on. So, maybe the order of operations is wrong? Maybe we gotta hit the Graveler, then the Charmander? Yeah, Hey You Charmander, right? Remember Hey You Pikachu? Oh my gosh, I should really get that game with the microphone on N64. I should get it. And we should play it. Hey everyone, it's Abdallah here with episode one of Hey You Pikachu on Nintendo 64. A game where I test my patience while I yell into this peripheral from the 1990s. Poised, poised, poised. Wow, those fires looked a lot bigger than before. Poised. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? Uh, that startled me. Oh my goodness, I don't think I got a good shot. That was borderline faster than Blastoise. How was it? That was intense. Yeah, it was the timing. I think the timing that was... Oof. I don't even know what I got. Wow, look. Uh, Force our shot. I mean, I mean... Whew. Yeah! Wow! Dang, if this shot isn't the shot that he's looking for, man, this is amazing. Look at the fire in the background. Yo, he better put that online. That was cool. Please, please, please be the one. Charizard bursting into flames. 2,000 size, four-star crystal, baby. Yeah. 
Oh man, that's probably the coolest picture that I have ever taken. One of them. That's the thumbnail. That could absolutely be the thumbnail. For sure. Unless Ho-Oh -O -O has a really good picture that I'm going to get in this video. Then we'll put Ho-Oh -O in the thumbnail. Because, you know, spoilers, right? You got to put the legendaries on the thumbnail and, and, uh, and offend certain people, right? Anyway. Typhlosion Explosion. That was really cool. Thank you. So it was the timing. Like, you had to be quick. You had to go one orb, one orb, then Charizard's friend Graveler, and then the place, like, blew up. It was awesome looking. Wow. Probably one of the best. Probably one of the best ones out of today's entire live stream, for sure. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, give me someone's shoe. Oh. Okay, here's a picture of me. <laughs> no, I don't want to frame you. Typhlosion explosion. This appears to be Typhlosion territory. Do you think I'll, it'll get mad if a strong-looking Pokemon gets too close? Whoa. Well, that area looks like Pride Rock. Remember Lion King one and a half? Yeah, here we go. Uh, the Typhlosion right at the beginning on top of the cliff in front of you. Throw an apple at him. Now he'll run to the end of the tunnel. Uh, on the top, you'll see him where you come out around, uh, look around, hit him with an orb, and do explosion. Okay, so a little bit of, whoa, okay, 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 I'm ready for this one. Okay, so hit this dude with an apple. Out of the way, not this dude, this dude. Oh gosh, my arm, my pitching arm, no way. Uh, I, I think I hit him, but it wasn't a clean shot, so I'm just going to try again. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, if you zoom in, you throw farther. Little did you know. Dunk on him. All right, let's go. Yeah, see you, buddy. Okay, so he got upset. All right, so now go through this, and then he's gonna be on another rock somewhere. Okay, I don't know which rock for reference I'm gonna do. Oh, wow, holy moly, here you go, give me an explosion. Do it, do it. Do the thing, do the thing. What, what, no, what, come on, guy. That was not the one. I was a little late, but now I know where he is, so we should be able to do this. Okay, now we know where it is, watch. You zoom in and you can lob an apple so far. Really, really. There we go, that's the one. Okay. Here we go. We Was that it? Uh... Wow. Oh, yo, he used eruption. So cool. Yeah, Typhlosion with the eruption. Nice. That was fun. Do it again. No. That was not the one. He's like, alright, I only really had one. The power points for the move was just one, so I'm out. Gotta take me to the Pokemon Center. Heal me up. That was cool. It wasn't the best photo, but it's still fun. I'm pretty sure it's like a four-star shot, right? Look at how mad he got. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, that's even better. That's even better. Look at the flames. He likes this shot. It's a little bit more centered, but I like these shots because the flames coming out of it. But whatever, we'll trust the professor. That was good. That was good. Look at that. Four star crystal shot. Yeah. You know, the volcano is actually really nice. There's a lot of cool fire type Pokemon here. The Lentil Region, and there are 214 species. Womp womp. Here 
we go. Three thousand degree flames. Wow. Level three alternative path. Flareon hit the crystal bloom. They'll give you more time. Now we need to feed Flareon an apple. After it's done eating, feed it another one. Before it eats, it will blow flot blow fire on it. Okay. Cool. I'm excited for that. Just feeding a Pokemon. Hmm. It's a cool shot. Okay, here we go. Uh, ooh, Flareon's flames can reach temperatures in the thousands. The Neo one is fireproof, though, so go ahead and get some good shots of it. The Neo one is fireproof, and it can go, like, completely underwater, which is kind of cool. Yeah, the Zero one couldn't go underwater. No. Just surface level. The technology back then. Yeah. All right, two Flareon. So you gotta you gotta feed the same one twice. Good tip. Good tip. Whoa, Ho Oh, right at the what? Dude, I didn't even know Ho Oh showed up in that crack in the wall there. Okay, so I've seen Ho Oh in three spots, right? In that crack in the wall that away, we've seen Ho Oh like fly over here when we were looking this way. And then we've also seen Ho-Oh um, appear in one other spot, too. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, really fun. When we looked up at the crack in the volcano, we saw Ho-Oh fly across. Really fun. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Flareon, I'm feeding a Flareon twice, and then maybe on the third one he burns the apple, kind of like Torchic does. Let's see. Yeah, this one is where I saw... Yeah, I did see Ho-Oh fly across here, which was kind of cool. Oh, look! There you go. Huh. <laughs> Speaking of. Cool. Alright, Flareon. Flareon. Flare... Flareon. Larian. Oh, I have to hit the crystal bloom. Got it. Isn't the crystal bloom like over here? Wow. There we go. Okay, cool. Lit up. Jump. Cool. Eat. Not you, Charmander. Go, go, go. What's up, Adrian? How are you? Welcome. Eat. Nice, nice, nice. Out of the way. This this food is not for you. Okay, here we go. Now you eat again. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Got you, got you, got you. All right. Hello. Never been familiar with the Yokai Watch, but your new series is getting me hooked. Happy Monday for me and the kitties. Yay. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Glad that you are loving the series as much as I love making it. Although one of the more recent episodes took me about an hour to record because the battle was so hard. Come on. Eat, please. Please eat. Charmander just used the flamethrower to eat one. There's too much going on over here. Adrian, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Come on. Ugh. Dude. Okay, there's too much happening there. Slugma's trying to eat this stuff. Charmander's trying to eat it. There's another Flareon trying to eat this food. No, man. I gotta distract them somehow. Like, maybe lure the Charmander away. Adrian... Glad that you are having a great day. Give the kitties lots of pets for me. Love the cats. You like getting the undies for the old man? Yeah, that was kind of silly, wasn't it? Weird, right? What was that? Old man's undies. Next. All right, all right. Too much happening on that last one. Here we go. <laughs> there are zero shiny Pokemon in this entire game. None. That would have taken months more in development time. So they decided just push it out without shinies. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta recolor every single one of these Pokemon. Or maybe like two or three of them. 
and then you know, program odds in the game of you know sh finding them. Do you understand how much replayability this game would have gotten if there were shiny Pokemon in it? Imagine trying to snap a shiny Dex in new Pokemon Snap. Yeah, right. All right here we go. Here, you guys eat that trash. Slugma, you come over here and eat this junk. Okay, good, good. Now, Flareon, why aren't you jumping? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Jump! Holy Flareon, Batman. That thing was close. What are you guys doing? Okay, this was completely botched. These guys are garbage. What, what just... Oh, I don't know what happened, man. He just stood there. He wasn't jumping, man. Hmm... Dang it, Bobby. That would be really cool if there were shinies. But, like, honestly, I think that people would just be so upset because this thing goes dirt slow. And if there's a Pokemon that only appears at the end of a level on a certain run, you're just like, all right, waiting for the shiny, and you're just, like, holding this the entire time. Like, ooh. Pokemon Quest, that was a good game. Pokemon Rumble, that entire franchise was good too. Pokemon Quest was really good. That was an awesome game. Remember we played that one mobile game that got shut down? Pokemon Rumble Rush, was that? It was like on iOS or something. It just got so repetitive. It's weird, man. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a Flareon right now. Right now. Okay, so you don't have to hit the crystal bloom. You just have to hit the Flareon out with a with a an Illumina orb. Man, crystal bloom's trash. You don't have to do that. Go, two apples. Oh sh! Wow. Okay. Hello. Not two apples first apple and on his second apple he burnt it maybe a little bit of RNG like Kangaskhan then what are you doing that was cute do it again come on come on turn around oh you're you're full oh this one's full then huh oh or not uh, you gonna burn it you gonna burn it professor burn it come on <sighs> Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. So yeah, no, Crystal Bloom is no, absolutely not. You can like sneak a little a little sneak peek at Flareon through the like um, the crevice. And then he jumps out. The Crystal Bloom just only helps get the Illumina on him to jump off, which was kinda cool, so you can do that really early. Super simple. Easy peasy. Look at burning. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a four star shot of him like with the flames. That's cute. Wow, look at that. What's the professor want? The professor wants hind legs. Yo, he's a leg man. <laughs> what is this? The professor wants hind legs. But I'm out here wanting flames. Sorry, professor. Kelly B, what's up? Thank you for the super chat. Super generous, thank you. You're the best. Showing some love and support. Thanks for everything that you do. Thank you for enjoying the content and being such a, an active member of our awesome community here. You're the best. Good work. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, oh, there we go. So you're saying that it can blow fire when it's happy and also uh, count as the quest? That's great. Cool to know. Three thousand degree flames. Wow. So you mean to tell me that a fluff fruit can survive three thousand degree flames? You're telling me this and still be there intact so that the Flareon can eat it. Is this what you're telling me now? And that the fluff fruit cannot float consistently on water. 
Wow, those are some really impressive flames. You did a great job photographing it. Mm hmm A slice of rainbow. You know, I've never done this before, so let's explore it. Let's explore it. Uh, a slice of rainbow. This one's going to be something about Ho-Oh. And then something about the feathers. I've only heard this on the internet and through a whole bunch of people in comments, so haven't really messed around with this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Feathers and photos and stuff like that. Like, I want to see what happens at the end. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. And then something happens at the very end. And now Ho will appear at the end of the level. All right, I kind of want to do this. Just to, just to figure it out. Find the sciences behind it. Get a nice little visual here. All right, so we're gonna go to uh, the volcano. Um, Ho-Oh can appear at the beginning. Okay, once you take a photo and go through the alternate route, when uh, you take a photo of Ho-Oh at the beginning, three of its feathers will appear on the path. Interesting. Uh, to get the second one, you need to throw an orb at the tol Torkoal who's laying on it. You need to throw an orb and activate all the feathers. Interesting. Now go through the last cave, and then magic happens. He'll appear at the end of the level. Okay, I'm excited. I am ready. Here we go. Here we go. What's up, Springy? Here it is. Ho ho. Ho ho, cracking the wall right here. Right. This is where we see ho ho sometimes. Yeah. Cool. So we see Ho-Oh, and then there's going to be feathers on the trail. Oh, man. Feathers on the trail. Feathers on the trail. Feather on the wall. Feather on the wall. I don't remember a feather on the wall. Uh, okay, well, I've never actually looked for these feathers, so let's, let's find feather on the wall. It's gonna be in a static position, so once I find it once, then we can just continue on. Nah, no, I'm not seeing anything. Feather on the wall. Not a. There's a Torkoal. Bottom right corner. No way, man. What? Oof. Oof. A Torkoal sleeping on one. Maybe it's this thing? Hmm. This one. Move. I'm not seeing a single, oh gosh, there it is. Cool, okay, so the second one, yes, that's it. Uh, that's great, that's very exciting, but I did not see the first feather. So I need more specificity on, oh my gosh. James, look at that. It's just right over here, it's just chilling. That was easy. That's one, two. Are you telling me that I missed the first one? I just missed the first one. Okay, so the first one. Let me try again. Whoa, hi, hi, hello, 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 hi. I only snapped two of them. 
I want to get all three. Do I get a better photo? What the heck? Oh, that was kind of cool. That was that was very nice. All right, well, let's quit the research. I'll turn in that photo, and then we're going to go. I'll get the first one. All right, all right. Left side of the camera, not the right. Okay, I will keep an eye out for the first feather. I got a better picture of Ho-Oh, though, at least, without its head. It's a two-star photo. Look at this one. There we go. Look at that. Why does he want the one that's just like the chicken legs? What's his problem? Dude, look at this one. Look at that one. Why wouldn't you ask for this one? That's like a full crystal shot. Are you crazy? That's a way better shot than what he asked for. I don't know, at least in my eyes. Look at that. Two star crystal, man. Duh. This guy. A picture of Flareon with a photo bomb of Ho-Oh in it. <laughs> That's really impressive. He's a leg man. Yeah, he's a leg man and a behind man too, this guy. Chicken legs. All right, here we go. We're gonna get it. I'm gonna find the feathers. We're gonna get it. Ooh, not return to camp, but we need to. We need to retry and then regroup. We'll be able to get it. So yeah, I'm very curious. We know where the feathers are. Teacher, I have a question. <laughs> uh, volcano. If Oak saw that, he would say you were close. You're absolutely correct, dude. Professor Oak is miles better than Professor Mirror over here. Mirror is like all about passing out bronze trophies and bronze awards. No, oh, oh, I'm supposed to hit Ho oh, oh, over here, wouldn't I? All right, let's take a look. As long as I snap a Ho oh, oh, in this one spot, right? One of two spots at the beginning, yeah. Mm, no, how about that? Here, let's 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 retry. Let's focus, focus. The first trigger for the quest is uh, actually snapping a photo of ho Oski, which is gonna be right over here, yeah? Or not, if he doesn't spawn here, then he's gonna spawn elsewhere. Smack dab in the middle. Okay, beautiful. So we got ourselves a ho-oh. The feathers, ah, ooh, I gotta find out. So the first one is, yes, taking alternate route by the Charmander somewhere. I just gotta keep my eyes peeled. So once I'm past the Shinx, okay, in this little cavern, you're telling me instead of looking at the Charmander on the right, I'm looking at the left. Oh, look at that, sticking out like a sore thumb. Wow, beautiful. So that's the one right there, beautiful. Okay, so that's numero uno. So simple. Ugh, that's annoying. Sticking out like a sore thumb. Well, I guess if you're looking on the opposite side, then you won't see it, but anyway, here's number two. Number D. Beautiful, number two. And then number three is right, just tack to the wall. Number three, okay, okay, here we go. Now, something's gonna happen. I don't know what, but I'm excited for it. I've never seen this before. This is exciting for me. All right, here we go. We're gonna go in very slow, drum roll. <gasps> what the heck? Wow, cool. Hi. Music does nothing. Scanning. <gasps> Whoa, that's Ho Oh's signature pose. Dang, wow. See you later, buddy. Later, chicken wings. Dang. 
All right, I'm not gonna take these last six pictures because I want to watch. This is magical. Oh, oh, though. Makes me want to invest all my rare candy into a ho oh and Pokemon Go. Oh. Look at this guy. Where are you going, buddy? You done? Can't crane my neck up so high. Oh, and he's out of here. Super cool. That was fun. It was actually really fun. Yeah, that's ho oh's like signature pose where he does like the wings in the like the half semicircle. Looks so cool. That was fun. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. That better be a four-star shot, man. That was fun. He sometimes lands? What? No way. Right here. Look at... Ooh, wow. No, you gotta do this shot. That right here. Ooh, look at that beautiful. Wow, with rainbows? Wow. That's a one-star. Uh, notice how the variations over here with the professor honestly like literally one frame late is it goes from a four star to a one star are you honestly joking this guy's terrible but anyway these look really good i would do this one again in a heartbeat i like the kind of sideways look i also like the like the yelling with the full chicken leg this one i think mm, this one yes that's the one that's cool all right i love it man New thumbnail. Yeah, new thumbnail for sure. <laughs> new thumbnail. Awesome zombie plays. You got it right. Dang, that was actually really fun. Ho oh, is cool. That is four star. Almost 2,000 on size. Like, that's the perfect size. Pretty cool. And then three star is probably just him, like, really up close. Right? Something like that. That was fun, Professor Mirror. Thank you. Yay! He does a twirl if you orb him. I orbed him like three times, man. Anyway, we'll mess around with Ho-Oh another time. Okay, we have got one more for the episode, and then we are donezo. We got one more, and it's a Volcarona. And honestly, I didn't do the Volcarona battle. Like, again. I was a little, like, I don't know, put off by it. It was like, oh, you're supposed to throw apples at them. What do you mean you're supposed to throw apples at them? Why would you throw apples at them? They would just burn up in a crisp, dude. No. <laughs> just didn't make sense to me at first. But anyway, here's a slice of rainbow. Oh, that's the picture we turned in. It's not every day someone gets a photo of ho -Oh, But then again, Todd Hart eyes. You're not just any photographer. Whoa, thanks. Words of wisdom, man. All right, here we go. Vocal Volca Volcarona. Could you help me research these two Volcarona? I'd like to know how they communicate with each other. I guess, yeah, yeah, I could. I can help you with this, Professor. Let's find out. Is this the one that was, like, broken before in, uh, in Pokemon Snap? And then they had to patch it or something? You need to hit the left one with an apple. Uh, one will leave and another will fly up in the corner. Once we go through the tunnel, the second part, you're going to hit them with apples, take away the flames, and loop them up. Or, we'll eventually go into holes, where they do this light up. Uh, light up the crystal bloom. And then they'll go on a cliff, look at each other, and do some things. And make some noises. Oh gosh. Uh, I can't read. Yeah, yeah, I get it, girl. Wow, you're very fast, you little buggies. Volcarona. Oof, I did not do anything. Yeah, yeah, yep. Really? My cursor speed is slow compared to what I'm supposed to be doing out here. Hi, hi. Whoa, do a barrel roll. All right, cool. Yep. This one. I just don't know their patterns yet. Oh, I hit a monkey? What is this, a first person shooter? What is this game? It's terrible. All right, here we go. There we go, done. What, you, you heard it bounce off of there. Why do you still have a fire shield? All right, now stand still. Stand still and let me hit you. Oh yeah. Dude. Come here, man. 
cool. Cool. I like that. Where's your brother? He's lighting up that monkey. He's like, yeah, go Volcarona. Cool, cute. Where's the brother though? Whoa, whoa, watch out. Uh. Oh, 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 being evasive. Watch out. Here we go. I'm going to move. I'm going to move. <laughs> go, apples. Ugh. I'm just like, I'm always one step behind these clowns. <laughs> Where's the apple cannon, man? I want like an automatic. Okay, there is a crystal bloom we're talking about, yeah? Ew. Oh, here's a crystal bloom. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything unless their their barrier's down. <sighs> okay, here we go, here we go. The twins! Dude, I need faster turn speed. Now you see us, now you don't. Yep. You guys just gonna hide behind there? That's cool. Oh, they're two sisters. Interesting. Uh, curse the bloom in order to get them out? We're gonna reach that. Oh, hi. Or I'll do this, maybe. Okay, so now they're both here. Talk to each other. Here we go. Do something. You're in a hole now. They have to look at a crystal bloom. Okay, here we go. You guys both looking at that? Look, look at it. Okay. Cool. That was a sideways little uh, little roll there, buddy. Oh, it's oh that's not a crystal bloom. Okay, is is this not the shot? Okay. Cool. Yep. Here we go. Look at the crystal bloom. Both look at it. No. No, my photos were like zooming in at the Crystal Bloom. They're focused on the Crystal Bloom versus like being in the middle of the Volcarona shot. It's so silly. This game is gar. Why do I need a picture of a Crystal Bloom, man, after I beat this game? <laughs> Yo, you call this thing like a smartphone, dude? This thing is not smart. I'm like, I'm out here trying to do a request and get these two things looking at the final Crystal Bloom before the end, and boom. 
okay, here we go. Uh, they're both looking at the crystal bloom. Is it a two? It's a four star photo. I have absolutely no four star photos, so just take what you want, man. Two star crystal will take it. Like, that's fine. And look, a picture of a crystal bloom. Great. No way, man. So you don't have to interact with them in the first area because you go to the second area automatically? I don't know. No idea, but we're going to retry. New record. Yeah, yeah. We're almost done with this stream. I can't believe it. Two hours right on the dot. Thanks for coming, everyone. Hope that you guys are uh, having a great time. I'm going to boost my sensitivity up. I thought my camera speed was way faster. Yeah, let's go to seven, baby. Let's see how fast seven. Oh, seven is fast. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, now I don't feel like uh, I'm I'm handicapped at all because I can. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this! Look at how fast I can go. All right, all right. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Here we go. I gotta rotate real quick. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hiding behind pillars. Ladies, come on, man. Okay, I gotta get used to this. Yeah, there we go. You felt it. You heard it bounce off of him. Why is the why is the, the little barrier still on? Look. There we go. One down. Cool. Where's your sister? Mm-hmm. 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 Cool. That was fun. Monkey! Look. Wow. Backflip on a monkey. Do it again. Do it again. Wow, cool, sweet. Good job, kid. Pocorona with a monkey. Look at her, just chilling. Okay, your sister really isn't anywhere in this first section. So, that's great. Cool monkey. Cool Volcarona. Nice. Let's move on. Whoosh, that would have been a cool picture, but I don't care about it. I only need one turn in. All right, now, here, let's play a game. You're gonna come right back around. Oh, you need two apples to break the barrier. That's it, that's the part that I was missing. Ooh. Come on. Don't. I need like an orb launcher, man. There we go, sweet. One down. Okay, here we go. You. Next target. Ah, oh, peekaboo. Oh, seven is a lot more sensitive. Okay, hi, hi. All right, all right, all right. Kind of annoying. Just kind of. There's hiding on the other side of this pillar. Here we go. No way I can nail an apple from that far away. <laughs> this is like uh, Mew all over again.
Okay, now is my shot. There we go, nailed one. You gotta like predict where they're gonna fly. You're joking. You're joking. Okay, one down. Okay, cool. Yep. Where is your sister? Hi. The end is near. Hurry up. That's cool and all, but where is the other one? It's cool. Is it because I didn't activate both of them before they, um, before we started going up the spiral? I think that was it. Yeah, that was lame. Okay. Ugh. Okay, okay. So, in that second portion, you have to light up both of them in order for you to get them both at the Crystal Bloom at the very top. It's, it's rough. Just kind of annoying than anything, because it's just like... It, you're annoyed by you're annoyed by the the curvature of the apples right and then by the time you throw the apples you don't know if you got the hit it's just ugh, whatever let me give me in a couple more tries and i'll get it there's a four star crystal shot of a bull corona but not the one that we needed Come on, it's the la it's the last option of this stream. Like, let's just let's just take it, man. Come on, okay. So I'm just gonna breeze through this first part, not really taking a picture of anything because it doesn't matter. When you get close enough to fly over the bloom, take a photo. It needs to be both of them looking at the crystal bloom. Look around, do cool things after they look at the bloom. All right. Yeah, with like the blue lines of energy is what we're going to be aiming for. Cool, cool. You're right, Tigressa, you are completely correct. It is the blue lines of energy, but it has to be both of them. So in the second phase, after the tunnel, I think we're here. Yeah, here we are. It's just, it's, it's just kind of annoying. Ugh. So the other sister went away. Okay, nailed her. Where is your sister? Okay, one down. Here we go. Here's Flamey. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eye on you, girl. I got my eye on you. Perfect. No, not perfect yet. Apple? Predictive. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Both of them are lit. I think we're set. Okay, so now that one went away. Monferno's here. Cool, good to know. Uh, okay, you have your back. I don't know how long the Illumina effect um, stays with them, but there is a Crystal Bloom. Oh, come on, come on. They're right there. This is where I need to light that thing up. I think that was it. I don't think I had to light up the crystal bloom. I think that was the shot. 
where they're both on top of the crystal boom and they use their like blue little auras or something. We'll give it another shot. Maybe I'll get a closer one, but we're not even at the top of the, uh, of the hill here. Oh, but then I had to hit these guys again. Uh, I think I'm done. Uh, but I mean, I kind of want to hit them all anyway for science. All right, all right, let's see. I'm gonna try my luck. Really, really, he's gonna sidestep me like that. All right, here, eat that, nope. Really? Where did you go? Okay, here we go. Okay, nailed ya. That's one hit with an apple for your sister, your flaming sister here. Oh my gosh, not even far enough. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Nailed ya. Nope. Right here. Perfect. Nope. Ugh. Okay, we got them both. Okay, so now... There's one going into the hole. Crystal Bloom should be Monferno. Okay, here we go. One, two. Doing barrel rolls. Cool. I love that shot. All right, here we go. They're flying. They are flying. Is this the end? They're just going to... They're going to They're gonna be... Okay, okay. Here we go. Look behind. Look behind. Crystal Bloom, do something. Where is... I think I got the shot that I wanted. There's no other... Oh, that's the one. Whoops. <laughs> I thought the crystal one was down there. You guys gonna come over to it again? Give me another shot. No, maybe not. Please. Okay, that's fine. I think we got it. I got a shot of two of them using their blue flame attack or blue energies. And I think that's the shot. So I'm crossing my fingers on this. That's it. Yep. Yep. That was the one. Ooh, it's the four star shot of both of them, like somehow communicating with blue lights. That's a beautiful shot. Uh, and the only way that I got that was making sure that both of them were lit, and then they just randomly go next to the crystal bloom. You don't even have to light it. So, yeah, that has to be it. No, crystal bloom does not have to be lit. Can confirm. Right over here, doubles. Give me the request complete and I'm out of here, please. Four star crystal shot, thank you so much. And ladies and gents, we are through. The, uh, what is this called? The Voluka is done. We only have Oris left. This is good. Congratulations, everyone, we did it. Shout out to all of you guys in the comments. Shout out to Taylor with the very detailed notes. All of you guys in chapter chat. You guys are amazing. Oh my gosh, wow, two hours, not bad. It wasn't like a five hour live stream like that one time, but we did it. And we had some really, really cool Ho-Oh shot, which was probably the best. Okay, so let's go. Let's take a look at this. And Voluka is done. Here we go. What? Here we go. We Ta-da! Thanks, this is a big help. I'll start analyzing this right away. Yeah, okay, so really only what? 15 more? And then we win in Auras? Wow. And I've done absolutely none of them, so that's gonna be really fun. So, uh, it looks like completed requests. Yeah. Oh, and then we have one that's busted. Yeah, so 14 more, right? 14 more and one that's busted in the game that no one seems to have figured out and they're just blaming the game. Apparently, that's the word on the street. That's okay. Whatever. Um, we'll knock it out. It's going to be uh, pretty good. I can't wait to see you guys on it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys had a great time today. Um, join me a little bit later on for uh, an episode of Yokai Watch. I hope that you guys uh, do enjoy that. But yeah, that was Oris. Or sorry, that was Voluka. Voluka. Yeah, and we did it. So what was your favorite one out of all of these? Um, I would say my favorite was the, I like the Charizard, like eruption one. I like the little Charmander and then like this big Charizard that came on board. And I also like the Ho-Oh one, which was really fun to kind of sneak around through the level and find all the different um, feathers in order to get some really cool shots of Ho-Oh at the end. So those were cool. Those were absolutely cool. It makes up for all the garbage ones where it's just like, oh, here, feed this Pokemon and give me a picture of him. Feed this Pokemon and give me a picture of him. Like, no, those are garbage. Um, so yeah, 
really enjoyed seeing that. So new Pokemon Snap, great game. Love it. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, yes, let me know. Are you guys excited for the final episode of new Pokemon Snap happening possibly tomorrow? I hope that you guys are. It's going to be a really fun time. So, alrighty. Oh, you guys like the monkey butt. Yeah, the monkey butt was pretty cool. We learned something new about Rita today. Weird. Anyway, thanks for coming, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope that you guys were able to play along with and get all these requests. Hopefully, we had enough uh, peanut butter and jelly um, directions in order to get you guys going. So we're very close to finishing this, and I really hope that sometime soon they uh, update the game in order to fix the Brave Proud Warrior quest that was in Durice. Not really sure what's going on with it, but who knows. All right, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys later at the premiere for some more Yokai Watch. And yeah, we got Miitopia happening later on this week too on Friday. So yeah, look forward to that. Alrighty, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Take care.